What's up guys? How are you doing today? Well, um, I want to share some interesting information about this Chinese RF signal generator. I bought it about two or three years ago and um, I'm pretty happy with this device. So, what the heck is this? This device generating the RF frequency from 500 kilohertz to 470 megahertz. It's generating pretty small level, just a couple microvolts. And uh, it's usually the goal of this device is to check the um, sensitivity of the, your transceiver or just radio. Uh, you can verify and check the S meter in your transceiver. Also, you can check the um, how many losses you have in your cable or in some uh, filter um, LNA, low noise amplifier. The history of this device, it's um, first of all, <laughs> I damaged it and I, this, I made some repairing. And second one, I made the modification. So originally to power up the device we need to connect some external power. Right now it's a battery powered and everything what need to do is just hit the button. And uh, ready to go. Also, if we need we can connect the external power in the because it's a smart smart connector the internal battery pack will be disconnected and connected the internal power. So pretty smart now let me put it's it's a usually it's a long it was long process of the uh, repairing and uh, modification so I have the a bunch of the video so I'm, I will try to cut it to short just short gaps to save my time and most important your time well uh, first of all let me put some photo uh, on this photo, you can see how I soldered the connector, or not connector, <laughs> IC chip. That chip is uh, attenuator. And I damaged it because I accidentally hit the PTT button on my handheld radio, and of course power goes to the RF output and burned the um, attenuator. Well, uh, here is, you can see how it looks like after my soldering it's a little bit dirty it contains some flux which is need to uh, wash well and here's on uh, this video i'm washing an ultrasound uh, bath and uh, with a special uh, liquid for pcb it's not water <laughs> don't do this with water it's a special liquid and pretty expensive well uh next one it's uh, it's inspection under microscope and uh, here is it it's an important spot because need to be sure everything is clean and uh, contact is good and shape and everything else is fine and ready to go okay guys this is what I have before I will assemble the my RF signal generator. So here is a couple of parts. This is a battery pack, which is my modification, and the uh, main PCB. So like you know, I burn one of the attenuator, and I swap it, and the PCB was washed. And the, another my small modification, it's a shield, which is will cover the RF module. What do we have on the RF module? It's uh, two voltage regulators, microcontroller, memory chip, uh, synthesizer, uh, two mixers and two attenuators uh, connector for the uh, display which is here and uh, from another side everything is clear I just add 
some very simple connectors or pins to connect the power button and the power line from the battery pack okay um, also here you can see the spare <laughs> spare uh, itinerators for future everything can be happen again <laughs> uh, all right by the way do not connect this ground and this it's a two let me open this is this one and this is similar ground but third one it's another one All right, well done. In the next step, let's assemble everything together. Voila. Okay. This is um, my spare attenuators, and I would like to leave it inside. <laughs> or. Um, Much better, I guess. That's not all, guys. I forgot to say a couple of words about this small potentiometer trimmer. This is to adjust or calibrate frequency, the output frequency of this signal generator. And uh, it's very easy to do. Everything what you need is just uh, frequency counter, which is sensitive enough to detect RF power from this device. And then use isolated screwdriver. This one is metal. So this one is wrong. Do not use metal. You need something like a plastic with plastic tip. And then uh, you need to connect a frequency counter to the output. See the frequency or spectrum analyzer or any another device, device which is can detect and count the frequency. And then slowly and gentle, gently turn it to... Find the best frequency for you, or usually it must be matched with numbers on the frequency counter and numbers on the screen. Um, another one recommendation, do the couple, couple measuring, like a 1.8, um, then 14.2 megahertz. Next one, it's at 30 megahertz. And of course, uh, uh, 144 megahertz and uh, 446 megahertz. And compare all of these measurements and you will find the, it's gonna be slightly shifted up to 300 hertz. So, um, it's like a challenge. You need to find <laughs> the best position of the trimmer when all frequency, all frequencies, 
uh, will be most closest position with accuracy so good luck with this and don't forget this is not device not for measuring it's a toy it now let's connect the signal generator rf signal generator to the oscilloscope and see can we detect some output or no okay now let's see how it works with the uh, oscilloscope like you can see i put the frequency 14.2 megahertz and the level minus 70 db uh, without any modulation so the generator connected to my oscilloscope and uh, let me put it maybe on the top oh that's perfect position much better voila well now we can see clear what's going on here is the on the screen um, central frequency um, in the center uh, we can see the marker the number one I just put on one marker so it's enough and the frequency is 14.200 kilohertz and 100 hertz that's the off I told about it the level is minus 67 68 just jumping so it's very close these numbers just two db different not so bad for home use equipment um what we can do and uh, it's um so this signal generator can generate a tone to check the uh, receiver and uh, audio frequency uh spectrum so let's see what we can do oh no this is a 3 kilohertz tone and uh, how spectrum has changed <laughs> nice right uh, we can change it a little bit uh, nope uh -huh. 2 kilohertz 1 kilohertz go back 2 kilohertz 3 kilohertz so well not so bad right this is a one of the way to see and uh, to do some verification of the RF equipment this project is done thank you for watching see you next time